evening, so. Good evening, I'd like to call the January 22nd, 2015 School Committee public uh, meeting to order. Uh, tonight's main business is the public hearing on the FY 2016 school department budget uh, by law, by mandate. This is a required meeting. Uh, there's actually some rules around it. It needs to be posted 10 days in advance. Um, and it's really an opportunity for anyone who wants to make a comment on the budget to give an opportunity for them to do so. Um, I don't know if you've noticed this evening, but we're, we're one team member short. Dr. Doherty became uh, ill this afternoon. He's, he's feeling much better, but he's unable to be present this evening. So I would like to make the comment that if there are questions about the budget, uh, about teaching, about learning, about those areas of the budget, I'd really rather hold off trying to answer those until Dr. Doherty is back on Monday night. Uh, originally, Monday night would be um, final questions and debate around the budget and potentially a vote on the budget. What we've decided to do is whew, a lot of that discussion will still happen on Monday. If, we're, if we feel ready to vote on the budget, we will. But if not, we'll add a meeting for Thursday and then finish there. Um, so with that said, uh, by kind of statute, the first thing we do want to do is hear any uh, input on the school department budget. So if there are comments or questions, now is the appropriate time to ask away. Whew. Mrs. Lieberman, come on, be first. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. I do have some concerns about the proposed budget. Um, the major initiatives listed um, don't appear to me to, um, I don't see how they will impact the declining achievement in elementary and middle school and how they'll impact our level three designation. Uh, I was ho the kinds of things I was hoping to see would be uh, additional teachers, uh, seeing the proposed cut of a middle school full-time educator it was alarming. I also don't see a lot of individual student initiatives. There's something about learning coaches, but um, according to uh, somebody who, uh, who uh, knows what that means, said that's more helping teachers rather than helping students. So uh, there, there was a, a lot of comment, there were a lot of comments at the meeting regarding the, uh, the uh, devastating drop in MCAS scores. Um, just to give you one idea, a statistic that was not put forth at the MCAS meeting, but that alarms me because I, I'm in the Parker District, is that um, the class of 2018 went, uh, um, went from 77% scoring proficient or above in sixth grade, and those same kids, uh, only 57% scored proficient or higher in eighth grade. And uh, that coincided with the implementation of the new cur curriculum. So the, the new budget just seems to be continuing with implementation of this curriculum where a lot of parents, including myself, have major concerns about whether this is the right way to go. It maintains the lack of a pathway to algebra for most students in middle school, um, which also costs the district money. We have to pay for a summer geometry class to try and catch those kids up because those who want to go into science or engineering need the calculus. Um, I'm a college interviewer, I know. Um, and. Uh, also, a lot of money and time is being spent on park testing. And that, remember, we all have to remember, this is only a pilot. The state may not go with park. So any investments in technology, in learning time, my eighth grader has already had park, uh, a practice park test even before winter break. So is this how we want to be spending our money and our limited resources? I would, uh, I would go for more teachers and, um, and less park, and, um, and I would really love to see also some focus on the, the high need subgroup, the special education group, um, because uh, that was a particular area. Um, and also, I know there's never enough money for it, but just something to think about also kids at the high end. There's been a large drop in the percentage scoring advanced in addition to an increase in those scoring warning or uh, needs improvement. So. Uh, Thank you very much, and I hope you will really think about trying to redirect to make uh, some of the improvements that uh, we were told that we were heard at the math 
at the MCAS meeting, which uh, talked a lot about math and Joshua Eaton level three, but I don't see anything in this budget that would help address some of the issues brought up there. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mrs. Lieberman. Other comments this evening? Mrs. Copeland, welcome. On behalf of the RTA, I need to be, uh, the Reading Teachers Association, I need to be on record stating that we oppose the cuts to the regular education paraeducators and the substitute budget. The RTA is in favor and in support of advocating to seek out new revenues, revenue sources. There will be a direct impact on student learning because the two are interrelated. We are puzzled and disappointed that you are planning to cut regular ed para hours. In cutting the substitute budget, the teachers realize that the, this means that principals will try to pull para support to cover classrooms, which is being done now. But it will further impact the jobs the paras are supposed to be doing. Teachers have fought and pleaded for years to get additional support in the classroom and are frustrated that it might be pulled. To be a district that is high performing, you need to have the revenue to support the many facets of educating our students in Reading. When you look at the surrounding towns, there is clearly, there is a clear cause and effect going on, a link between the money spent and the academic performance. Reading has always prided itself to squeeze as much out of every dollar it can. We don't blame you, but you get what you pay for, and it's time to raise the per pupil expenditure. Thank you. Thank you. Could, um, would you mind sharing that did, did, that letter? I would not us? mind at all. Okay. If you wanted to, uh, if you could give it to Linda, that would be great. Sure. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <coughs> Further input? Nothing? <coughs> Seeing no further input, I will uh, close the public hearing uh, regarding the FY 2016 school department budget. Great. And I'll reconvene the regular session of the school committee. Um, <coughs> tonight's meeting is going to be, uh, thankfully, very brief. Um, we'll quickly uh, ask for public input that isn't on the agenda. <coughs> Seeing no public input, I'll ask if there are reports from committee members. Okay, I Let's have hear it. Yeah. two. I'll make them really brief. The Martin Luther King, I know I don't make things brief, but I try. <laughs> Um, just a thank you to everyone that came to the Martin Luther King celebration and a thank you especially to those businesses and um, funders that made it possible. Uh, Anthony's Roast Beef and Pizza came through at the end providing pizza for the Meco Elementary School Chorus when they had to come in on Friday afternoon to practice and so rather than going back into rush hour with empty stomachs they had pizza donated by Anthony, so a huge thank you. And Honeydew Donuts helped with their breakfast on Monday morning because they had to be in rehearsing rather than out with the breakfast. So thank you to Honeydew also. Eastern Bank, Reading Cultural Council, Burlington Coles came through with not just um, funding but also with volunteers and they were awesome. And they have offered their help in other ways because they really enjoyed being with us. So thank you to all of the student volunteers, all of the adult volunteers, um, everyone that made this possible, including um, Capozzi Construction and Moynihan Lumber, the GSA and the AWOD groups from the high school, the students were indispensable between the research on figuring out which, um, which role models to focus on the, the portraits and the quotes to put in them and then running activities during the event and to all of the exhibitors that came. I just wanted to say a very public thank you very much and I hope that people were able to connect with organizations that are standing up together uh, for things that they can then collaborate towards making this um, a better place. And all the kids did this despite the fact that it was leading into midterm week. So it really was Herculean of them. Second report. Of course. So just briefly, I went to a meeting. Um, I got an invitation from our legislators to go to a meeting with the um, enoughabuse.org group on Tuesday night. 
at the police station, and they're talking about ways to confront um, sexual abuse and to support um, parents, professionals, um, students in confronting this issue and dealing with it. Um, and so I have some brochures from them for anyone that's interested. They're both a lobbying group. They're trying to um, garner support to bring their program into the Reading schools. They're just starting the discussion now. Um, I was not a representative of the school committee at this meeting. It was just an informational meeting. Um, and there are also bills they're trying to educate legislators about the needs um, an example of which would be that the approach used to be just educating students about good touch, bad touch, about what um, abuse might be like and realizing that that's really not enough um, and that parents and educators need to be educated, trained to recognize the signs that something might be awry. And so they're trying to spread into the Middlesex um, district and so um, it was a very interesting meeting. Thank, Thank you. you. No, and I know that other school committee members attended that as well and I know that some school committee members tried to attend and couldn't because of open <coughs> meeting yes. uh, of, because of forming a quorum uh, but it does sound like a very worthwhile event. Thank you. And I didn't see Mr. Nyan there so I don't know if you have anything that you wanted to add. There was a training I believe at the end of the month in Wellington. I forget the exact might be on that information. As a, as a train the trainer, can't remember the exact date, but we can get that out sometime soon if anybody's interested. <coughs> I do. You do? I do. Please. Um, so uh, last night, uh, Dr. Doherty and I had the pleasure of presenting um, a presentation at the financial forum to the collective uh, board of um, uh, the school committee, the board of selectmen, and the finance committee um, on the. Um, proposed six modular units for Eaton, Barros, and uh, Killam. And uh, it was a very spirited conversation, a lot of great questions. Um, and the end result was the um, FinCom voted to move forward the proposal. And the Board of Selection uh, took a vote to um, uh, call for a special uh, town meeting in February. And so um, the process continues to move forward to hopefully address some of our space needs. So that was very successful. And then um, I know we don't have our representatives from high school this week. So I will say about something that's been going on in the high school this week for many people, they know that um, uh, real world problem solving has been occurring this week for the junior class. And uh, they've been, done a great job of peppering a number of us with questions about green space and waste and a lot of other whole, whole different list of projects. So um, I look forward to the judging and the presentations tomorrow and the, uh, the awards for for best presentation and whatnot. So it's been a, a great week here at the high school. And thank you. And on behalf of the school committee, thank you very much for last evening. You <coughs> represented us very well. Thank so you. it was a very positive outcome. OK. Um, sorry that you guys showed up for such a quick meeting. I, we have some uh, donations. Mr. Chairman, move to accept the donation in the amount of $1,000 for the Coolidge PTO to be used to support the travel and lodging expenses for Challenge Day leaders. Is there a second? second. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of accepting the donation? Motion carries 5-0. Carries uh, move to accept the donation in the amount of $850 for the Reading Memorial High School Volleyball Parents Organization to be used to purchase volleyballs in a cart for the volleyball team. Is there a second? Second. Great discussion. All those in? Yes. Well, Mr. Robinson. I don't know. Uh, what's the cart? Is it's not a golf cart, is it? No, it's not a golf cart. I, I actually, I, I thought it was just volleyball. So when you said cart, that kind of caught me off guard. I'm, I'm sure it's just a, like Container. a rack that the basketballs would go on, probably. Yeah. It's a ball yeah. cart. Yeah, it's a ball yeah. cart. So. No more um, golf carts. Yeah. <laughs> Further discussion? All those in favor of accepting the donation? Motion carries 5 0. Other minutes, Mr. Robinson? There is. Uh, move to approve the open session minutes dated December 22nd, 2014. Second? Second. Discussion? I had a question on that. 
Can I borrow your? Yep. I'm sorry. That's fine. Did we have a second? I apologize. Yeah. Great. All those in favor? Motion carries. Minutes are accepted 5 0. Uh, move to approve the open session minutes dated January 12, 2015. Is there a second? second. I don't see any discussion. I have. Discussed. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a comment in there that I asked that there was smart boards at the high school. I don't remember asking that. I think Mr. Nyan might have asked that question. I think I asked if they were being used in all the classrooms throughout the district. <clears throat> Every once in a while, we catch a mistake on one of them. So, uh, Mrs. Engelson, would you like to change it from Mr. Robinson to Mr. Nine once you find it, and we can accept? We'll accept the minutes on Monday evening, or it do was, you want? It was all. It was not specific to the high school. It was to all the schools. Would you approve them as we'll, revised? We'll approve them as revised. Thank you. All those in favor? Carries 5 0. And I apologize that I rushed through. I, I should have made this comment uh, publicly. Uh, this, the school committee has sub submitted a substantial number of questions yes. uh, to the administration regarding the budget. Um, and I know that you've been working through those diligently. I know that uh, tonight was unexpected with Dr. Doherty's absence, but I, I also get maybe a hint that it was uh, kind of a blessing to give yes. you a little bit more time yes. to be prepared <laughs> for Monday night. So we will be going through that large set of questions uh, and having that debate and that discussion Monday evening. Yes? Would we get be getting those? It's, uh, I hope to have them out Saturday, if not Saturday, sometime Sunday, so that you'll have them a full 24 hours before Monday night's meeting. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much for that. I'm, I'm probably 75% yep. the way through, so there's, there's uh, Which is amazing. There's, there's a few more. Sure. Mrs. Lieberman? Will those, will those questions and answers be made available? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we'll only have like one day to Yes. Yes. Now again, the school committee does not have to take a vote Monday night regarding the budget, and most likely we won't, given the number of questions and discussion we've yet to have. So it will continue through the week on Thursday night. Did anyone ask, out of curiosity, what, um, how much the summer geometry program cost? Uh, no. I, 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 don't, I don't know if that question was asked. I didn't ask that question. But we, we can certainly ask that question, certainly. That would be great. Okay. I would. You would ask it, or you have I a question? Would, I would actually add to that question whether the tuition based, whether that pays for the class in terms of Mrs. Lieberman was concerned that it costs the schools extra money um, it's, to it's run that. It's provided as a oh, service. Oh, it is? Okay, yeah. sorry. No, that's okay. It's because we no longer have the straight path mm -hmm. calculus for most kids, so they either have to do double up or summer geometry. We can absolutely get the figure. Thank you for asking. If there's no further... Great. Someone give me a motion. Turn I actually do have a. Um, oh. I know that um, it feels a little funny to me having received the feedback, the the feelings from Mrs. Lieberman and Mrs. Copeland, your concerns about the budget, and I feel like um, it needs to be said that we're not ignoring those concerns. I think there's going to be a longer conversation with Dr. Doherty here and the questions because I think some of the questions. We'll answer that. I know for one that the paraeducator questions are in there. Um, so to out of respect to give time for those questions to be answered, I do not believe that we are ignoring the concerns that were raised. I know also that some of the concerns have been answered via email um, in response to the questions asked. So I just I just felt it was important to acknowledge that it's not this is not saying that these won't be discussed. It will be discussed with Dr. Doherty here and the questions prepared. Thank you. Thank you. And, and typically with, with uh, public input, we get the input and then come back. So <coughs> we certainly weren't ignoring it. Right. Just Thank you. I am new to the board. Yep. <laughs> 
Motion to adjourn. Oh, is there a second? Second. All in favor? And we're done. Thank you. It's meeting on regular background.